should be closer than friends uh, If you OPN, uh, engaging you's on my agenda Request my chariot to get ya The door's OPN, uh, take that high road and hop in uh. Open up, uh, open up Shut it down like a bag of Open up, open up, open up, open up Cold as ice and cold love Open up Welcome back to my channel guys If you want to see how Welcome to a new video, new tutorial New eyeshadow tutorial if you want to see how I accomplish this look, stay on by, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're just going to be prepping up these eyelids for this pigment. And please do not put eyeshadow or pigments on your eyes unless you prime them first i'm using a p louise Roma base four i think this is excellent primer for your eyes guys so i'm just patting the concealer on my eyelids to receive this neon pigment top of this color this color is so pretty yeah i love this all right so i'm gonna use that color right there and i'm trying to match with my dress <laughs> so yeah this rainbow neon colors they are very they are beautiful they're gorgeous guys so i just decided to use the it's almost like a yellow greenish kind of mixture and with pigments you do not want to use fluffy brushes because it's not going to give you the best payoff so you want to use a flat brush okay and when you apply the pigment you want to make sure that you tap it the way i'm going to show you right now you don't want to win chill wipe promotion pigments because it's very dusty and if you do that you're going to get a very light color payoff than if you were to pat it on the way i'm doing right now so you want to pat your pigments on Pat, 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 pan a cake, pan a cake, bake, cause man, hey, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Be very silly. So I don't really have, I'm not really doing a cut crease, I'm speeding this up, guys. I'm not really doing a cut crease, I'm just, I'm just carving this pigment as high as my eyelid. Like the crease of my eyelid, that's how far I'm going to go, I'm not going to go higher than that. Because I'm going for a certain look. And if you have to keep patting uh, the same area more than once, it's fine. So you're just building the pigment on so that it gives you uh, a better color payoff. Now, please excuse my lighting because I was at my window and I had my ring light on. And it was just too much light so you really can't see what's going on in terms of the color payoff but i'm gonna correct that in a second guys so just keep watching right now i'm just taking the fluffy side of my brush using some of that brown in my mac studio fix foundation just so that i can blend the top of the crease So it doesn't have that harsh beginning yeah okay see now i adjust my light now you see how you can see the pretty oh this is so gorgeous look at that so yeah i was just blending the top of my crease so it, it blends and it doesn't see that harsh line all right we're gonna clean up in a, in a minute so let's put foundation on we always put foundation on after we use pigment so we can clean up all that fallout that we got from the pigment i never put my foundation on first i mean kudos to those persons and emmyways that put foundation on first and then they do eyebrows and eyeshadow i can't do that and especially when you're using pigments i would suggest guys especially if you're doing this for the first time 
So don't put your foundation on first because you're going to get all that pigment on your foundation. You have to go back and clean it up. And it's just like working in the reverse. So foundation last, guys. Just a tip. So I'm using my Huda Beauty foundation in the color Coffee Bean. And I'm just tapping this into my skin. I rather, I rather tap my foundation in than to wipe it in. There's some areas that I wipe and some areas that I tap. But when you when you tap it and you get it goes on your skin and it looks flawless. And this is where you can clean up all of that pigment that fell out when you were applying it to your eyelids. And someone said that this is not my color. Well. I beg to differ because it's definitely oxidized and it suits my skin the way I want it to. So, thanks for that observation from that person who watched my video when I did this review on the Huda Beauty Foundation. It was like, that doesn't match your skin. It's like, what video are you watching? Because this coffee bean formula clearly matches my skin. It has red undertones, but like I said, it oxidizes, so it blends in to my skin seamlessly. But thanks for the observation. Right, I'm going to use this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to do some highlighting. I usually use my LA Girl Pro Concealer, but I can't find it right now. Don't know where that is. It's in the other room. I'm not going to get up to get it because I hate getting up and I'm filming. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes so we can get some highlights. I'm not really a contour kind of person. I rather highlight than contour. So I don't really like do the entire step processing, pro step processing when it comes to contouring and highlighting. Bridge of my nose, forehead. And then we're going to blend this out. And then we're going to bake. I'm looking for a new concealer though, but I ordered some, I ordered another concealer. I ordered the Roma 7 P. Louise. All right, so I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and my Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm gonna spray that, then we're going to blend this concealer in. Some persons use water, but yeah. So we're going to blend that in, blend, 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 blend. This is not the best concealer to use to highlight, but it was what was on my hand at the time. There are so many concealers you can use to highlight, guys. So many. I'm in the hunt for new concealers. I see that I know Tarte has really, really good highlighting concealers and NARS as well. Also, I think juvia's place i ordered some new parts from juvia's place guys so just stay tuned for that video because we have some more makeup tutorials coming up when my shipment arrives i'm so excited i can't wait i think i ordered some concealers from them as well they had a huge sale a few days ago and i just went to town y'all forgive me jesus all right so we're gonna use my sasha buttercups baking powder and we're going to bake I love baking though when it comes to highlight i love to bake so i'm just going to put the powder every place on my face that where i put the concealer under my eyes my nose my chin my cupid's bow and my big forehead Now y'all gonna play together like and see how big my forehead was, right? My forehead is huge. I have a five-fingered forehead. But guess what? I don't care. That's my imperfection and I wear it well. Besides, I like to think that my forehead says that I'm very smart. <laughs> Almost done applying this found not foundation. <laughs> this this powder. Now I'm going to use my Studio Fix MAC 
foundation in the color nw45 and i'm going to just press that everywhere where there's no powder so it's just my below my cheeks my cupid's bow and i'm going to brush it off on my forehead so this is where i'm going to start to brush off the the baking powder This is where some persons would use their, they would contour. They would use some dark below their cheeks. But like I said, I ain't got to do a lot. I can still achieve a look without that, you know. Just keep on watching, guys. We're almost done. I had to go back in with my fluffy brush and just clean up the top of the neon these pigments they are so unruly guys they do not behave like regular eyeshadows so you have to keep playing with them so that they stay in place they like little children it can't keep still they here they there they everywhere just stay on my eyelids jeez but i think i have more hooded eyes so it tend to move like that yeah Okay, we're good now. So I'm going to just take another brush and I'm going to dust the powder off. The Sasha Buttercup. Some persons keep their own on very long. I don't need to. I just want a little highlight. I don't need to be glowing. I don't need to be chiseled. Everyone has their own preference. And this is what I prefer. Considering I've seen everything. Literally. So I'm going to use my MAC foundation and just go over it where I had the Sasha Buttercup and where I concealed. It's not showing a big difference, but I can see the difference. You guys can't. And like I said, I'm not that dramatic. Not yet. Do my little dance. I'm almost done. Yeah. So eyelashes, guys. I'm so excited. Those are my eyelashes. I sell them. Now I'm going to use a different neon color. This darker green. Or this green, I should say. For my lower lash line. And with this one, unlike the eyelids, we're going to windshield wiper motionless on after I like put it on. Because I don't want this to be too dark where it takes away from the top. See why I shake my head just now? I, that's not gonna work. We're gonna fix that in a minute. So we're gonna windshield wiper, we're gonna just like put this on, put it on like really, really lightly so it doesn't take away from what I want you to look at, which is the top eyelids. So I'm going to dust this on. Like I said, when you want the pigments to be not so dark, you dust it on. And you want it to be darker, you pat it on. And again, you have to use concealer before you use eyeshadow and pigments on your eyelids. Because the concealer, the eyeshadow and pigment thing something to stick to. Alright, so that's it for that green. So now we're going to put on our eyelashes. What I'm doing now, I'm just using like a no-name mascara to control my itty bitty natural lashes so that it can not be in the way when I'm trying to place the uh, the false the focal eyelashes on my lash line. I'm using hair glue like I always do. I did an in-depth eyelash application on my channel check that out now this contraption i just showed you that pink one that's a little bit better to use in the tweezer because i can clamp the entire false lash on there and it'll be better for me to place it in the center of my eyes so i would recommend getting that guys i'll probably do a whole video on that one you see how easy it is for you to just clamp it on 
and you can just station it right in the center in the middle of your eyes i'm putting the hair glue on now on the lash line of the false lashes i'm just using my eyeliner <laughs> to apply it now you can, you can adjust the lash if you want but make sure it's steady so when you place it it doesn't move and you're going to release and of course you know the, you have to get into our blowing motions because you want the glue to be a little bit tacky you don't want it to be too wet because if it's too wet the lashes will move so as that dry i am going to fix that lash line all right time for lashes so you center your false lashes first and you want to look down in the mirror i'm looking down in the mirror right now you center it then you release the contraption <laughs> and you tack the sides with your fingers to make sure that it's secured don't touch it because it might still be wet I'm just securing it with my tweezer to make sure it's clamped down on there so when I do go back and tack it again that it's not out of place okay, let's do the other one I'm so happy I found this. They have to have a name for this. I guess false eyelash holder. I think. But there has to be a name for it. And it, it's doing wonders when it comes to applying my false eyelashes. Because I was horrible with those tweezers. So we're going to blow, 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 blow. I think it's only a dollar. If I'm not mistaken. Again, these unruly pigments. Blow, 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 blow. I'm loving this color though. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And of course, I'm a perfectionist. I'm just shaving up my eyebrows. Looks like it's out of place. All right, back to the lashes. Look down in your mirror first. Make sure you're steady. Center the lashes. Penny, stop blowing now. That's not blowing. Let's go, girl. Center your lashes. Release. Tack both ends. I think this was this was much simpler than <laughs> the actual eyelash tutorial on my video on my channel. So just those those steps: center, tack, release, and then you do tack down. Yeah, that's it. And you can see it was a little bit wet, so I got some blue in my hand. So you wanna. You don't want to tack down when it's wet. You want to just center it and rest it like that. Okay, I'm using this mascara to make sure that it blends in. The, my, my natural lashes blends in with the false eyelashes. So you don't have that like double lash of lashes. If you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. almost done I'm hungry you guys oh my god I need to make a sandwich a 
that's my victory dance so i'm almost done this look took about an hour and 20 minutes i think if i did more colors it might have taken longer all right we're gonna go in with our fenty beauty so we're picking up riri right here oh no no before riri we're going to put on our liquid eyeliner so that we can make sure that the top of the lash line doesn't look so rough this very cheap i think it's la 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 girl i think black liquid liner is to be placed on top of the lash line so you don't have that rough false look you'll see what i'm talking about when i'm finished and you want to make sure your hands are steady because you want a straight line and it should only curve my, my eye is watering guys i hate this part your line should only curve when your eye curves like at the end there i'm not doing a wing i don't want a wing it's gonna be like a you won't see the wing but it's gonna be like a wing but you won't see it so you want to curve that end part right there and it's my my wing's gonna end right there actually all right for the next eye same thing straight hands steady hands and a little curve at the end my eyes are watering so bad okay now it's time for riri i'm using a lip balm i just love this i ordered the clear one from sephora they, they actually all are clear, but some are like sparkle, some is a little bit pink. This one is the shade Chocolate. I didn't want to use any color on my lips because the neon pigment, I didn't want to take away from that look. I wanted the attraction to be on my eyes and not my lips, so I just decided to go with gloss. Now we're going to do some highlight. This is Riri's highlighter. Killer Ward. I love this. Fenty Beauty. It's my favorite highlighter. And I'm only brushing it on, guys, like I said. Because this highlight is very pigmented. It's dangerous. It is a killer Ward. Okay, so we're done. We are actually done. We're done, guys. Thank you so much for watching. These are the pictures I took after. It really shows the neon color. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Participate in the giveaway. Remember to keep striving, keep believing, believe in yourself because I believe in you. And if you are still on this path, it means that God isn't done with you yet. So keep focused for your dreams. I love you guys. God bless you. Have a good day and give me a thumbs up if you love this neon pigment color. Mwah.